Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff with the Collector Car Network, and today we're gonna to be looking at this 2022 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Wide Body Hemi Orange. But before we can open it up and give you guys all the sweet details, first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's Auto Hunter Cinema video is brought to you by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com or call 847-462-8100 to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. So today we have the privilege of checking out this 2022 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Wide Body Hemi Orange. So there's a lot of words in there and let's break down what all is going on in this car. So the Scat Pack actually starts at a little over $47,000. Our car that you see here comes in priced at $64,635 and that's including all of the options, including some of the stuff mentioned in the name. So let's go ahead and let's break down the car. So first, just looking at the exterior here, this car is finished in smoke show which is obviously a light gray and then all of the extra badging and our cool stripes that we have here are part of the hemi orange which is an appearance package that's been added to the exterior of the vehicle just looking at the front i really like the wide body and i'm glad that they introduced it into the other scat packs um, instead of just being available for the hellcats because that comes with some really cool upgrades so coming around to the side here one of the upgrades of course not only do you get the cosmetic edition of the wide body which i think looks fantastic on this car you also get bigger wheels. So the standard Scat Pack narrow body car comes with 275s, and then the regular Chargers come with 245s. So it is an upgrade even with the narrow body to get the 275s. But with this, with our wide body, we get a massive set of 305s, and that's squared. So that's front and rear. We have 305s on all four corners, and these are 20 by 11 inch wheels that we have on here, which is absolutely massive. But you need it because it helps to put all of the horsepower down that we have sitting under the hood here. Some of the other things when we're looking at the wheel here that we get that's an add-on because of the Hemi Orange package. We have our orange stripe with the black that goes down the, the driver's side here, but we also have these orange calipers, which these are the Brembo six-piston brakes, but they match the orange that we're gonna see on the theme throughout the rest of the car as well. And then of course we have some of the standard Dodge things. We have a very aggressive front fascia and, and functional air duct in there air does throw flow through there into the engine we of course have our standard dodge bits some different emblems including our little b there um, that goes along with all of the dodge styling bits and especially our cool 392 badge letting everybody know we have the fearsome 6.4 liter v8 underneath so with that let me go ahead and pop the hood for you and then let's take a look all right, so now we're taking a look at our Scat Pack engine bay. And one of the cool things that's specific to the Scat Pack is we actually get our SRT branding, which is obviously Dodge's performance side, in the engine bay. So uh, the typical valve covers, even if you have the 6.4 but don't have the, the nice Scat Pack version, will actually just have the 6.4 badging or 392. So it's cool that we get the SRT badging, reminding us we do have the performance version of the Scat Pack with the wide body package. One of the things I also appreciate is the fact that you don't need a hood strap for this. this is very nice just being able to pop the hood up it's uh, much appreciated in terms of checking everything out we have our caps for our adaptive suspension that is on all four corners there which is also uh, part of our scat pack wide body package which is much appreciated we have our massive coil packs which are needed for this massive 485 horsepower engine that produces about 475 foot pounds of torque so this thing moves it'll do 0 to 60 in about 4.2 seconds and it'll do 0 to jail in no time so be careful if you have one of these watch your speed it'll definitely go fast but if you're into the drag strip all the power to you because this thing will move not to mention all of the features we'll talk about later in the interior one of the cool things about the engine bay that I really appreciate it is there's a, not a ton of plastic covers trying to make everything beautiful and hide all of the good stuff because this is a good looking engine bay under here. I like the simplicity. We have a massive throttle body that leads to the factory sort of cold air style intake that sits over here on the driver's side to help fuel this hungry, hungry engine. So that's pretty exciting. It's just a good looking engine bay overall. And obviously it's going to be very accessible if you like to be able to do some things yourself. Uh, it looks like there's even some space if you wanted to uh, upgrade it in the future should you choose that route but it's just a good looking engine bay nice and simple easy to access everything and that's something that i really appreciate for this automobile especially if you're going to be doing go fast stuff always good to have uh, an engine bay option like this so without any further ado let's go ahead and let's move on to some of the other exterior components and talk about this car just a little bit more 
Okay, so now we're taking a look at the other half of the exterior that we didn't cover earlier because we were too busy gawking at that huge engine that sits in the front there. But look at this side profile. This is a good looking automobile. And don't let the four doors fool you. This is a certified muscle car and it looks fantastic. I love the way this roof line slopes back. And you would think that typically with a fastback style roof line like that, you'd have a hard time seeing out of the rear window, but you don't. And that's one of the many cool features about this car. Obviously the wide body fenders have a lot to add to the styling, adds more depth, and we get those big wheels that look very meaty um, on the inside of the tire. So that's another very cool feature about the car. And then we can see that our stripe is not just a hood stripe, it actually continues over the roof and then it goes onto the trunk lid here where we're meet, met by this awesome black wing. And then some more black components and even our blacked out B emblem over here, which is all part of our Scat Pack Hemi Orange package, which is very cool cosmetically. Of course, we have our dual exhaust, which sounds fantastic that we'll explore later, and some vents that are actually functional in terms of them being cut out. Um, there is no sort of filler in this car, which is really cool. It's all performance focused. It looks fantastic. Big scallops, big sculpting body lines that just make it feel like a muscle car. Feels like it's going fast without even have to be moving. But one of the very cool features about this car, which would be this. Now I could have opened that with the key fob if I wanted to, but I want to show you one of the many benefits of this car. So. Aside from the fact that this is a four-door car that can be practically used as a family transporter when you're not at the drag strip, this has an absolutely massive trunk. This, I'm about six foot, and I could easily fit inside of this trunk. This thing is huge, but that's great for you because that means this is a car that you can have if you only could have one car. So this will do everything for you. This can serve as your family vehicle. This can serve as your drag strip vehicle. This can serve as whatever you want it to be. That's a, such a fantastic feature when you're only looking and most of us can only afford to have one vehicle. But in this case, this car is so reasonably priced and you get so much value for the money. So with that, let's go ahead and let's check out all of the features on the interior that also add to how special this car is. Okay, so now we're on the interior of this 2022 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Wide Body Hemi Orange, and we do have some extra options in here. So to complement the exterior, we have some more orange stitching that you'll see throughout the car, but we also have some wonderful additions, including the carbon suede package, which looks absolutely fantastic. We have all sorts of carbon that surrounds the dash. That's almost very driver focused. Everything feels directed at it. I can see everything easily. I can touch all of my performance pages, including going through auto, custom, sport, track, whatever I want to do, I can mess with it here. On the steering wheel, we'll find a number of different buttons, including some paddle shifters for that eight-speed automatic transmission. And of course, we have our massive handle, which I love this thing. Nothing makes me feel like I'm about to climb into a spaceship than the way the shifter feels. And that's a very cool, uh, just sort of adding to that muscle car aura of when you hop inside of this scat pack. We have our cruise control, we have our management system. So in here, you actually have a RPM gauge and a uh, typical speedometer inside here, but you can actually switch the center. So the center has a couple different features that you can cycle through using the buttons here with your left thumb that'll allow you to cycle through things like a uh, G track. You can actually throw up some of your time lapse and things like that if you're at the track. Um, you can have sp like speed, you can read more readouts, really whatever you want to do. Uh, gas mileage if you're trying to get good gas mileage, but really for this vehicle, I think smiles per gallon is what really adds on to the overall fun of this vehicle. Not to mention how racy it feels. These seats, oh my gosh, are these seats comfortable? Everything is fully adjustable with electronic controls. Mirrors, seats, even the steering wheel, everything can be adjusted just the right way to make sure that you get the full experience out of your scat pack. Another cool thing is all of the suede that's inside of this, and they didn't put it on the steering wheel, so uh, props to Dodge because you don't want things like Alcantara on your steering wheel because it gets slippery and gross with lots of use. So it's cool to have it on here. It's a cool texture, of course, but I like not having it on the steering wheel, so that's fantastic. One of the other things we get is we get our square body um, steering wheel here, which just looks fantastic. Just all of the cool stuff you get here. And like I said, one of my favorite things about this is the performance pages. Our Scat Pack wide body gets us access to all of these things. So you can keep it in auto or you can keep the car on drive or choose to manually shift however you prefer to do it. That's fantastic. But you can also do custom, which we get our fully adaptable um, 
suspension on all four corners. You can adjust how you want to use the paddle shifters. You can adjust how you want the steering wheel to feel. You can adjust how you want the uh, car to handle, if you want it to be stiff, if you want it to be soft, whatever type of driving you're going to be doing. But then there's sport and track mode, which both disable tra um, traction control and get you into that uh, race car mode, whether you're taking it to the track, because it feels very balanced to drive, or whether you're taking it to the drag strip, in which case they also have line lock in the performance pages. Line lock will hold the front brake so you can rip a nice big burnout and make sure your rear tires are warm to make sure you get the fastest time when you're taking this thing down the drag strip. So that's a very cool feature. Plus, the car is so quiet. You can hear the engine, which is much appreciated because you want that in your muscle car feeling that subtle vibration to rock you to sleep if you were just going to hang out in the car. But it's so good um, getting to hear everything. But let's not forget to talk about some of the most important things inside of the Dodge Charger, and that is your back seat space. So with this being a four-door muscle car, we get a back seat, and it's a sizable back seat at that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead, let's hop on the back seat. So now I'm sitting in the back seat of the Dodge Charger Scat Pack, and holy smokes, this car does it all. I'm about six feet tall, uh, for reference, about six foot even. I've still got about an inch or two before the actual top roof of this car, and I can sit back here comfortably. This is actually really impressive. My knees aren't even touching the front seat. The seats themselves are actually pretty comfortable and there's a lot of stuff available back here for everyone sitting in the back seats, including some vents. So if you live in a hot area or a cold area and you want to make sure people get heated or cooled, not a problem in this car. It also has a USB charger for each side and it even has heated seats for the back seats, which is a really cool luxury feature. This is the type of stuff that you won't find in a lot of cars, especially this car in its current marketplace is unmatched for the price, all the performance, the luxury, everything you get in this car is just incredible. And to add to that list of features right here in the center, if you don't want to use your third seat, boom, here you go. We've got our center console with some storage and some more cup holders on the inside here. Perfect for being able to take people home. And if you're taking your family on a road trip and you need the back seat, well, here it is. They each get their own door too, which is a fantastic feature. It's just cool having a back seat in what is a four door muscle car. So you get the best of everything with the Dodge Charger. But now that I'm done sitting back here, let me get back on the front and then we're gonna tell you what it's about to drive the Dodge Charger Scat Pack wide body. Okay, so you're wondering what's it like to drive the 2022 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Wide Body Hemi Orange? So that's what we're gonna take. But before I get into the details, first, I just want you to listen to this. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. If you wanna talk about something that inspires a muscle car feel, nothing will do that better than one of the Dodge products. So in here, of course, we do have that 6.4 liter Hemi that I had mentioned earlier, and it pumps 485 horses uh, through the system to the rear wheels, which is amazing. So, in there, obviously, we have just a lot of stuff happening here that looks fantastic. So you have your adjustable gauge right in front of you that you can set to whatever you want. Personally, I've left it on the speedometer. I feel like that's the most helpful. Um, but you've also got the standard gauge if you want to switch it to things like a G-Track, like a G-Force meter, things like that while you're on the track. That's kind of a fun feature. But then you have your drive mode. So, of course, you can adjust your radio stuff, which the Harmon Cardon system in this car sounds incredible. But most importantly, you have the SRT dashboard, which has your performance pages. And this is cool because you have sport and track. Now, those will actually both turn off track control, or you can leave it in custom. And this does have the ad adaptable shocks um, in, in the car, which will actually help to uh, adjust everything, whether you want it stiff, firm, and you can actually adjust the way the steering wheel feel um, feels as well. So you can actually stiffen that up, and it changes a little bit here and there, depending on how you want to drive the car. But if you don't want to adjust any of that, leave it in auto, leave it in drive. The car is fantastic in that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead, put this thing in drive, and let's take it for a spin. Oh yeah, and the car, oh my gosh, the amount of volume you hear from the exhaust is fantastic in the, in the inside the cabin. It's amazing. Yet, everything on the outside is still very quiet. So you don't hear any extra noise or anything like that, but you get all of your V8 glory, which sounds fantastic. Plus, there's a sort of rumble when the car is sitting at an idle, when you're sitting at a stop sign or a stoplight, that just reminds you that you are in a muscle car. And that is the aura that I appreciate most about this car. It always feels like a muscle car. So you don't have to be driving it hard. You don't have to be taking it to the track or the drag strip constantly to feel like you drive a muscle car. This is a rewarding experience no matter where you're driving the vehicle. And that's one of the things I really appreciate. And then, oh yeah, and then these massive 305 tires on here.
here, which come with the wide body, the standard Scat Pack is 275. These feel fantastic. They do a great job of helping you to uh, for sort of feel the grooves and they keep all that power planted, which is really important in a car like this. But more importantly, let's talk about how good the sound is if you decide you need to get onto it or you need a little bit extra at the track, whatever you decide to do. Oh yeah. And this car will do zero to 60 in about 4.2 seconds. It's unbelievably fast. A car that can do low fours and you can use to take to the drag strip whenever you like. Thanks to all of the performance upgrades, including things like line lock, which are also available in the performance pages to help you warm up the tires before you make a drag strip run. And it's amazing all the things you can do with this car. You can set it up exactly the way you want it, including the fact that when you think about some of our other videos that have things like the Dodge Thrill Rides, they're drifting those those cars are stock cars, so all the same performance pages they have, we have available to us in the street car here, which is absolutely incredible. This car is so enjoyable. It feels uh, like a muscle car. It makes you happy to drive the car, just starting it up. This car features remote start, all sorts of goodies like that, and just hearing the car start up gets me excited to drive this. So I can't say enough good things about it. And one of the cool things is no matter how you're driving it, whether you're driving it on a track like we got to experience in Houston or you're driving the car on the street, it always feels feels good and you get to adjust it just the way you want. And I think one of the best things about the Scat Pack is it's a great value for what you get out of both performance and grip because you get the widened tires, which are, like I said earlier, are do a huge favor in terms of helping you feel out the car. And it feels so direct because you have fantastic visibility. I can see everything out the front windshield. There's no blind spots. I can check everything with the car, including the rear window, which despite having a pretty good rake to it, um, has fantastic visibility. So it's such a great car to drive definitely fun at any speed and it just feels good to turn this ah oh, feels so good to turn it in and the car one of the cool things about the charger um, is the charger has a little bit different layout than the challenger but the weight distribution is about 54 to the front about 46 to the rear um, which is actually a pretty good weight distribution considering the size of that massive 6.4 liter v8 so it's just a really good handling car and if you ever get the opportunity to hop uh, besides not just the Dodge Charger Scat Pack, but any of Dodge's awesome V8 muscle cars, I would strongly recommend it because you get so much driving enjoyment, the type of driving enjoyment that's gonna make you step on the gas and laugh every single time. Now, one of the things to highlight is the fact that this gets about 15 miles per gallon city and about 24 highway, but if you step on it as much as I do, which you probably will because you're gonna love that V8 sound, then your mileage may vary, but you can't argue the smile miles per gallon that you will experience in this car. It's unmatched, especially for the money. So with that, if you guys enjoyed that video, I'm going to smash that like button for us. We really appreciate it and get subscribed as we release videos like this regularly, including car reviews every single Wednesday. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to go talk to Dodge if you're interested in purchasing one of these for yourself or check out autohunter.com or online auction or classiccars.com, which is our online marketplace with over 30,000 vehicles currently live. And Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.